सो हेलो एवरीबडी दिस इज यू एम बैक अगेन विद न्यू वीडियो ऑन वीडियो सीरीज ऑफ सी एस आई एंड जेर एफ साइंसेज सो ऑन द स्पेशल रिक्वेस्ट ऑफ यू गाइज आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व टूडे लॉर्ड्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन सी एस आई आर नोमेरिकल्स फ्रॉम पार्ट सी एज वेल एज पार्ट बी सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग अ टाइम लेट्स स्टार्ट ओके सो क्लिक ओवर हियर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द सी एस आई आर नोमेरिकल्स so here we have the first numerical which is from 2018 question paper and from this number you can easily understand this is actually part c right so this is a uh, section c c numerical 2018 question number 96 okay so in this question we can see what is the virtual temperature of an unsaturated air parcel with a temperature of 35 degree celsius and mixing ratio of 30 grams uh, water vapor it is given in a dry air kitna water vapor hai okay so let's see how to solve this first of all what we have to do is uh, just write given what is given over here so given is t 35 degree celsius so this is in celsius turn this into kelvin so we know exactly we have to add this much to turn in turn this into kelvin right so the kelvin temperature is 308.15 kelvin r mixing ratio is given this is 30 g uh, water vapor water vapor in per kg of dry air right per kg of dry air it is written we can write like this 0.03 grams of water vapor water vapor in per gram of air so we now turn into gram per air per per gram dry air okay now what we can do is now here we have to find what we have to find virtual temperature yani we have to find this tv we don't know tv this is your virtual temperature so now the formula for virtual temperature is tv is equal to t into constant value 1 plus 0.61 into r where this tv is virtual temperature this is your virtual temperature vt here r is mixing ratio mixing ratio of liquid water liquid water uh, sorry liquid air not water okay and uh, t is uh, given over here this t it's a uh, temperature of the parcel so that is t over here temperature of the parcel t is equal to temperature of parcel now just put the values you will get the answer it's very easy very easy all you have to do is just by heart this formula 1 plus 0.61 into r r is 0.03 just solve this After solving, you will get three one three point five Kelvin. Just turn into degree Celsius because our options are in degree Celsius. So, on turning this, it will be forty point five degree Celsius. This is the answer. Okay, it's very easy, right? How we get forty point five degree Celsius? Two seventy three. Just subtract two seventy three from this one. Minus two seventy three. okay you will get 40.5 okay so this is the answer for the first question answer is second 40.5 okay moving to the next okay now let's solve the second question okay so over here find the buoyant force acting on the tropical tropospheric air parcel of unit mass at temperature 20 degree celsius in an environment of temperature 15 degree celsius 
सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन्टी सेवन फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड एटीन पेपर अगेन सेक्शन सी सेक्शन सी क्वेश्चन आर जनरली डिफिकल्ट ओके सो नाउ लेट्स बिल्ड अप कॉन्सेप्ट फॉर दिस नोमेरिकल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स सी वॉट इज द बयोन सी बिकॉज इट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट बायोन फोर्स राइट सो बयोन सी इज बेसिकली वेन एवर यू पुट एनी ऑब्जेक्ट फुल्ली और पार्सली इन अ फ्लूड इट विल एक्सपीरियंस एन अपवर्ड फोर्स एंड दैट अपवर्ड फोर्स इज इक्वल टू द अमाउंट ऑफ फ्लूड डिसप्लेस बाई दैट बॉडी ओके सो दिस बयोन सी कैन बी रिटेन एज ए बाई एम माइनस टी ई टी ई माइनस टी पी बाई टी ई वेयर दिस एफ इज कल टू फोर्स एम इज मास टी पी एंड टी ई आर बेसिकली दीज आर टेम्परेचर ऑफ एयर पार्सल एयर पार्सल एंड टेम्परेचर ऑफ इन्वायरमेंट सो टी पी फॉर टेम्परेचर ऑफ पार्सल एंड टी ई इज टेम्परेचर ऑफ इन्वायरमेंट of environment so here we use te and temperature of parcel is tp let's see right now let's uh, uh, write what is given over here given terms uh, and we have to multiply by minus g also see this minus g is because the object is moving upward we know as g is acceleration due to gravity it always attracts everybody towards the center of the earth but here because of this buoyancy it is moving up so g is minus 9.8 meter per second square and this negative sign uh, basically tells you that the object is moving upward due to buoyancy object is moving upward upward is this clear so this is the thing now let's write what is given over here tp what is this tp yani temperature of the parcel and temperature of the parcel is already given it's 20 degree celsius so tp is 20 degree celsius when you turn this in kelvin this will become 293 kelvin 273 plus 20 293 kelvin then te TE is given 15 degree Celsius temperature of environment. This is 15. So 15 plus 273. When you do this, you will get 288 Kelvin. 288 Kelvin. Okay. We have to find bion C. Yani we have to find this F by M. Okay. So this F by M is equal to TE minus TP by formula. टी ई माइनस टी पी बाई टी ई सो टू एटी एट माइनस टू नाइन्टी थ्री बाई टू एटी एट इंटू माइनस नाइन पॉइंट एट मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर ओके देन वाट वी हैव टू डू इज जस्ट सॉल्व दिस यू विल गेट जीरो पॉइंट वन सेवन मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर ओके here the sign is positive see this is negative and here we get negative so negative negative becomes positive the positive answer positive answer means upward bound force upward buoyant force means hot air indeed rises hot air indeed rises so 0.17 meter per second square let's see options option number b 0.17 meter per second square so this is very easy right all you have to know is this formula this formula is very important just go through it multiple times it will really help you now i am going to solve some other questions from previous year csir papers so i will write questions also okay so let's start from here uh, this question is again from c section okay c section okay let's change the color so question is what is average 
रैंडम वेलोसिटी रैंडम वेलोसिटी ऑफ नाइट्रोजन मॉलिकूल दे विल गिव यू सम डिफरेंट मॉलिकूल्स ऑफ गैसेज ऑल्सो सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट नाइट्रोजन ट्वेंटी डिग्री सेल्सियस एट ट्वेंटी डिग्री सेल्सियस ओके सो नाउ लेट सॉल्व सो वट इज गिवेन ओवर हियर फर्स्ट राइट दैट टेम्परेचर इज गिवेन दैट इज ट्वेंटी डिग्री सेल्सियस टर्न दिस इन टू कैलविन सो इट बिकम्स टू नाइंटी थ्री पॉइंट वन फाइव बिकॉज इन रियालिटी टू सेवेंटी थ्री प्लस फिफ्टीन वी हैव टू एड द एग्जैक्ट वैल्यू इज वन फाइव ओके वेन यू एड दिस यू विल गेट टू नाइंटी थ्री पॉइंट फिफ्टी कैलविन वी हैव टू फाइंड दिस वेलोसिटी रैंडम वेलोसिटी एवरेज रैंडम वेलोसिटी सो ए एवरेज रैंडम वेलोसिटी आर भी लिख देते हैं ऐसे ओके वी डोंट नो वाट एग्जैक्टली इट इज ओके ना वी हैव दिस गिवेन थिंग दिस इज आवर गिवेन ना बाई फॉर्मूला लेट सी द फॉर्मूला सो द फॉर्मूला इज टी इज कल टू ए एम डब्ल्यू वी स्क्वायर लेट्स कंसिडर इक्वेशन वन हियर ए इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट वैल्यू ए इज कॉल टू फोर पॉइंट जीरो इंटू टेन टू दावर माइनस फाइव किलो पर मीटर स्क्वायर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर पर सेकेंड नहीं सिर्फ सिंपल सिंपल सेकेंड स्क्वायर वॉट इज दिस एम डब्ल्यू मीन्स इट्स अ मोलिकुलर वेट सो इफ दे गिव ऑक्सीजन द मोलिकुलर वेट विल बी चेंज ओके सो इट्स अ मोलिकुलर वेट मोलिकुलर वेट and uh, this v is average molecular speed average random velocity random velocity okay so now we have everything just put everything in the formula so what we have to find is we have to find this v right so we can again uh change the formula like this we can write a same equation 1 in the form of like this right see this is some same thing i'm just changing the places of uh, these variables okay we can write like this so now just solve it 293 plus 15 oh sorry 0.15 kelvin divided by 4.0 into 10 to the power minus 5 it is given into molecular weight molecular weight is 28.01 for nitrogen so when you divide you will get 511.5 meter per second this is very easy right मोलिकुलर वेट और ये कॉन्स्टेंट रिमेंबर दिस सो दिस इज द आंसर दिस इज द रैंडम वेलोसिटी एवरेज ओके रैंडम वेलोसिटी एवरेज फॉर नाइट्रोजन मोलिकुल दे कैन आस्क सेम थिंग फॉर दिस थिंग हाइड्रोजन ऑक्सीजन एंड ऑल इट्स वेरी इजी मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके सो नाउ Again, this is from part B only. Relatively easy question. So part B, C S I R. Okay. So the question is, at sea level, what is the mass of mass of air within a room of Size five meters into eight meters into two point five meters. Let's write the given. Length is given eight meter. Uh, width is given five meters. Height is given two point five meters. We have to. We don't know this mass. We have to find in kg. First, find volume. 
वॉल्यूम इज वॉट डब्ल्यू इंटू एल इंटू एच दिस इज द वॉल्यूम सो फाइव इंटू एट इंटू टू पॉइंट फाइव दैट इज हंड्रेड मीटर क्यू देन मास मेजर द मास मास इज कल टू वॉट रो इंटू भी ओके सो दिस रो इज वन पॉइंट टू टू फाइव इट इज द डेंसिटी ऑफ एयर एट सी लेवल इट इज वेल नो जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई विथ हंड्रेड यू विल गेट वन टू टू पॉइंट फाइव के जी सो वी हैव टू नो दिस वैल्यू एंड बाकी एवरीथिंग इज इजी दिस इज द आंसर ओके सो एक्चुअली दिस इज फ्रॉम पार्ट बी ओके then let's solve the next question okay so again from part b part b and they ask lots of question uh like this what is total e radians that is uh, radiant flux radiant flux emitted from black body emitted from a black body okay uh earth black body earth earth ko we are considering as a black body where t is given to 55 kelvin so here the earth temperature is 255 kelvin okay options are also over here right now 260 watt per meter square uh, then this is one second option is 240 watt per meter square this is actually from remote sensing actually then 210 watt per meter square then the fourth one the fourth one is 200 watt per meter square let's see which of the following is correct so here given is t255 kelvin kelvin for earth it is given we don't know the e radians total e radians so e is for e radians we don't know it is in watt per meter square so this uh, this e is equal to total e radians is directly proportional to fourth power of temperature this is called stefan's boltzmann law so any body which has temperature greater than 0 degree celsius sorry 0 degree kelvin or absolute zero temperature it always emits radiation and that emitted radiation that emitted radiant flux from a body is proportional to fourth power of its absolute temperature okay so when we remove this uh, proportionality sign we put equal to and a constant and this constant is called stefan's boltzmann constant this is your Stefan's Boltzmann constant. Okay, so just see what is the value. The value of constant is five point six seven into ten to the power minus eight. So easy way to remember this five six seven eight. Okay, and uh, just multiply with this absolute temperature. Absolute temperature is already in Kelvin. So fourth power of this absolute temperature. when we multiply this we'll get 240 watts per meter square this is the answer so the answer is 2 240 watt per meter square answer is 2 okay so i hope this is clear to you so just remember uh, there is lots of questions on stefan's law uh, beer's lambert's law then wind's displacement law then black body radiation emissivity planck's law so be ready for this okay now moving to the next question okay so again this is from c section this is the difficult one part c okay uh if an average of 5 gram per kg of water of water existed in the troposphere troposphere 
between 100 kilopascals to uh, between 100 kilopascal and 30 kilopascal what then what is precipitation precipitation water depth so suppose if this much amount of water is existed in a troposphere between this much of pressure range 100 kilopascal and 30 kilopascal then we have to find the precipitation precipitation water depth to find this one okay so a over here is 1 inch b is given a 1.4 inch c is given 3 inch and d is given 4 uh, sorry 5 inch this is 5 inch okay so now let's write what is given over here given given is uh, rt that is 0 0.005 kg per kg just turning this into kg per kg okay this is the average of water which is present okay pb is 100 kilo pascals kilo pascal pt is 30 kilo pascal so here this pb stands for uh, ambient air pressure at the bottom so this is for ambient air pressure at the bottom pressure bottom pe we always have high pressures right so that's why 100 kilopascal at bottom and this pt stands for ambient air pressure at top so t for top top of column so over there always pressure is less that's why 30 kilopascals okay and this rt is average mixing ratio average mixing ratio mixing total mixing ratio that's why it's t it's average total mixing ratio right now let's see the formula for this so the formula is dw what is this dw means it is a precipitation water depth so dw is rt into g acceleration due to gravity rho liquid rho liquid is the density of the liquid over here it's one uh, 1000 kg per meter cube for water it is the rho liquid pb minus pt okay so just uh, now put the values rt is our 0 0.05 you can see over here it's 0 0.05 uh, divided by 9.8 acceleration due to gravity for water the density is 1000 kg per meter cube uh, pb is over 100 minus 30 so this is your 100 this is your 30 so 100 minus 30 when you solve it you will get 0 0.036 meters in centimeters it is 3.6 centimeter and in the terms of inch the value is equal to 1.4 inch so you should know how to convert centimeter into inch as well as this formula that's it so the uh, final answer is 1.4 inch the correct answer is b okay correct answer is b now moving to the next question okay so what question is again from c section question c section what updraft updraft wind is needed to keep a typical cloud typical cloud droplet droplet of r uh, 10 micrometer from falling r is given the radius of that cloud droplet is 10 micrometer um, now we know that 
at rain drops we have two forces in the upward direction we have buoyancy force and updraft drag is acting on it and in the downward direction we have gravity now this uh, gravity over here is a function of r q while the updraft is a function of r square because it depends upon the surface area there is more surface area that means there is more uh, air resistance okay but uh, this gravity is a function of over here it's a function of r q why r q because the the shape of this raindrop is spherical and the volume of sphere is 4 by 3 pi r q so this is the thing concept behind it now let's solve r is given radius 10 micrometers you have to find this uh, updraft wind velocity so it should be let's see formula is here this w means terminal velocity okay terminal velocity what is this terminal velocity means when uh, the velocity is constant uh, whenever any object falls from the uh, higher regions to the lower regions uh, it will achieve at a certain point a terminal velocity the, at terminal velocity the updraft is equal to the gravity okay so let's see formula wise t and terminal velocity terminal velocity there are two formulas for terminal velocity w is equal to k1 r square here this k1 is minus 1.19 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second this negative sign indicates falling indicate falling okay r is radius of droplet radius of droplet now we have to find this updraft velocity so it is equal to just put the values given over here 1.19 formula is actually this one i am just putting values over there into 10 to the power 8 okay and uh, this is given 10 micrometers so micrometers in meter is equal to 10 to the power minus 6 meter we can write 1 micrometer is equal to 10 to the power minus 6 so on multiplying this you will get uh, 0.012 meter per second and 1.2 cm per second actually in the question uh, they are asking about cm per second option agar hoga to it is in cm per second that's why i am turning this into cm per second this is the final answer okay now let's solve the another question uh, what is the air density question is from uh, c section only c section difficult one what is air density at height of 2 km in an atmosphere of uniform temperature of 15 degree celsius this is the question we have to find the air density at height of 2 km in an atmosphere of uniform temperature 15 degree celsius options are given over here is 0.1 kg per meter cube this is the air density first second air density is given 0.6 kg per meter cube kg per meter cube c option is given 0.92 kg per meter cube and d option is given 0.32 kg per meter cube okay let's write what is given over here given is z is equal to 2000 meters so it is in kilometer i am turning this height into meter okay uh now rho zero this is average sea level density also known as average sea level density already we use this density term initially average sea level density is 1.225 kg per meter cube then t 
T is 15 degree Celsius in Kelvin. When you turn this in Kelvin, it becomes 288.15 Kelvin. Okay. Then, uh, then this rho is we have to find we have to find what is the air density so we don't know how much it is now let's write the formula p is equal to rho naught rho naught is what average sea level density okay into e ka power a by t into z here a is constant a is constant a value is 0 0.040 okay it's a known constant okay then just put the values over here we have to find this density this this thing we have to find this one is this one okay now p is equal to 1.225 1.225 1 it's the average sea level density into e ka power okay e so we can write simply like this 0 0.04 negative kar sakte hain into t is uh, 2000 uh, sorry h is 2000 and t is given 288 so we can multiply like this 2000 by 288 you can write like this when you solve it you will get 0 0.928 kg per meter cube that is your density what is the air density so this is the air density now let's match c is the correct answer 928 this is again 0 0.92 okay so i hope this is clear to you so that's it for the today. Hope you like the video. Please do like, comment, share and subscribe and all the best all of you.